And now, illuminating moments in American history. It was a fateful day in 1903 when the mother of all invention met Mother Nature. It was a snowy, icy mess on the streets of New York City. And Mary Anderson had a mother of an idea during her trip from Alabama into the Big Apple. As Anderson watched from her trolley seat, anyone driving a car was frequently forced to stop and get out to clean off the windshield because there was no such thing as a windshield wiper. She even got a blast of cold air every time the guy driving the trolley opened the window and stuck his head out to see where he was going. I vey even your dog wouldn't stick his head out in that weather. Anyway, as the snow changed over to sleet, Mary's plans that day changed too, and she started sketching ways to solve that messy dilemma. She produced several several designs, and after lots of failure, Mary was feeling pretty wiped out. But persistence paid off, <laughs> sort of. Her favorite design could be activated by the driver from inside a vehicle. So no more open-air shouting matches with old man Winter. It used a lever attached to a spring-loaded arm with a rubber blade that swung across the windshield, wiping off all the yuck in the process. Others had tried something like it before, but her system was a winner, sort of. She received a patent, but people scoffed at what they said was her accident-causing distraction. Fast forward a few years later to Henry Ford's Model T, making car ownership more popular. And the need for windshield wipers became really clear. And eventually, standard equipment. By then, Mary's patent had expired, and while she never made a dime from it, she at least knew that her invention was saving lives. So hindsight is indeed 2020, especially if you had those fancy schmancy rear window wipers. And that's an illuminating moment in American history.